that we were we can talk number 291 29th anniversary open shall we all rise for the thai national anthem <laughs> Warm welcome to each one of us. We were we can talk number two hundred ninety one, twenty nine anniversary. We have come a long way. When I came up with the idea of a vegan movement twenty nine years ago, there was not even one vegan outlet on the Gumbit Road. Today, all over Bangkok, more than hundred vegetarian outlets. In Sukhumvit Road alone, more than ten vegan outlets. And when I started the movement, the the word vegan was not even known. We, of course, we know the word vegetarian. The word vegan was not known. I'm a born vegetarian, a vegetarian for many generations, perhaps for thousands of years. On visit to a dairy farm 35 years ago, the the kind of torture I saw there at Mooklek, Sarapuri, while sucking milk from the cows, I saw blood coming out. Uh, the calf taken away so that human can steal the food for his baby. I spent half a day there 35 years ago. On the spot, I became vegan. Now, 35 years, I never taken a glass of milk, never a slice of cheese, never a slice of paneer, never a spoon of curd. And then many years later, we I started vegan movement. We have grown. Till today, we have more than 3,000 members in 29 years. Of course, it's a one-time registration, one-time payment, 600 baht, lifetime member. When my grandfather first came to Thailand, 120 years ago. I am very proud of him. Vegetarian was not known. Not mentioning about vegan, vegetarian was not known. He kept the vegetarian tradition and passed on from generation to generation. Today, it's a global trend, veganism. What prompted me, in fact, the journey started when I was a, 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 just a kid. I accompanied my mother to a market and one, one scene I really badly disturbed me, I couldn't see it. One of the vendor in the fresh market picked up a, a live frog, a live frog with a very big knife cutting in between, cutting in between to remove the, the outer skin, and there's a big bowl on two sides throwing the skin on one side and with the frog still alive, still jumping, throwing on, on the other bowl. And very fast, pick up a frog, cut in between, throw a skin on one bowl, throw the alive frog on the other on the other bowl. That scene, I couldn't sleep that night. I was just a boy, I was just a kid. But I think that was the starting point that one day I wanted to do something. As a boy, I fantasized that I, I have a miracle that I can point out just with my finger to stop all this. But as I grew up, I knew that, that that's not the way. The best way is to educate the public. And that's how I started this movement, Viva Bangkok International Vegan Alliance. It's a non-religious. We don't talk about religion here. We talk about nutrition, about health, and of course about ethics, but not religion about moral responsibility. We are non-political. We don't talk about politics here. We, we are non-profit. Uh, 
I'm, I'm very proud of this movement. It's from my heart and my soul. It's, it's like my Gurdwara. It's like my, my temple. It's like I'm promoting a Gurdwara, a, a, a cause. Once again, a warm welcome to each one of us. We can talk number 291. We had 290. We can talk in the last 29 years. Now for first 10 years, we used to do twice a month, first 10 years. And we, we decreased the frequency because of the social media. Now you no longer need twice a month get together because most of the information we pass through social media. So we are doing uh, once, almost just every quarter is enough. Not even once every month, once every quarter. This year, this is only the second meeting because of COVID, we didn't have any get together for five, six months. Now, before we enjoy uh, the main meal, we have enjoyed the starter. Uh, this gathering, especially hosted by my very good friend, a big round of applause, first of all, to Gaurav Kungaurav Ketriwal. The owner of this outlet, who's been very kind to, to offer us to... I, I Initially, because of COVID, I thought we'll have no anniversary this year. Now, we used to hold anniversary at Lotus Hotel, Sukhum, with Soy 33, with 100, 150, 200, 300 people. But this year, because of COVID, I decided not, not to. But then I got an offer from Kungaurav. Then, of course, it's, it's good to keep up the momentum, the anniversary, but keep it small this year. And with each one of you, well selected to be here, not just for anyone. So a big round of applause for each one of you. Today, uh, food we enjoy will be a mix of Thai, Indian and Italian, including starter and the main meal. And uh, before we enjoy the main meal, I like this get together to, to uh, soften the atmosphere to feel better about this evening atmosphere and the best way to go about is for us each one of us to introduce ourselves you can ride at your own seat no need to walk up here ride at your own seat but stand up please one by one <clears throat> keep it very short your name what you do get your name what you do and then the third thing if you like if you are vegetarian or vegan you may like to add how long how many years have you been vegetarian how many years have you been vegan and if you are not, if you are not, you may just say how much you like the food tonight. At least the starter you tried. <laughs> okay. Yes, we, we, we start with uh, Dr. Kamal Jit, please. Yes. Hello, Swadika. Swadika. I'm Dr. Kamal Jit Singh. I'm a doctor of holistic therapies. I'm a clinic in Sukhumit Swad 22. Uh, I have turned to vegetarian in 2010 with the inspiration of Mr. Kunpal Ponti. Thank you, that's all. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I am Anil Sriman from the Embassy of Sri Lanka. I am working at Council at Commercial Equity and I am a good friend of Paul Narola. I am really enjoying that vegetarian food that frankly uh, yeah. <laughs> saying sometimes I missed that opportunity because of <laughs> some uh, functions and other things. Uh, I have to please others also. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Dr. Joe, Dr. Joe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, hi everyone. Yes, today I would like to say congratulations uh, for the BWA 29 eh? anniversary. Yeah, so I'm very glad to enjoy tonight. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, my name is Kalayani uh, um, uh, I, I am the co-founder of the veganery restaurant and bakery. And today, uh, please enjoy the cake uh, okay. for anniversary. You bring vegan cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My name is Ken Korana, and uh, I have. 
be in a meat football for three years. Before that, I was a big meat eater and a meat, big meat seller in the, in the meat business. For 30 over years, I used to buy tons of meat from Thailand to export to Europe. And after I met Poo Paul three years ago, I became vegetarian. <laughs> Not yet vegan, but vegetarian. Thank you. Hi, my name is Bobby. I'm a just entrepreneur working. Mr. Paul has invited us. You know, it's my first year to join Diva. I'm glad to join. Thank you. Next. Hello everyone, my name is Kiran, um, you can call me Suchitra. I'm the founder of uh, Tokuli. Actually, I'm vegetarian from, my, from the family, and I try to make in tofu in the vegan. So, we joined to try to be a vegan also. Hope so. Good evening everybody. I am Lachani one. Number one. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to call me. Yeah, I work from the government, especially for Ministry of Public Health. Now I already get pension. So I work focus on Department of Health that involved in all kinds of nutrition, food, uh, clean food, good tests, best hygiene, is right. And I am happy to be here today. So Ministry of Public Health try to focus on uh, nutrition. Sometimes they selected macrobiotic and try to promote it, but it's not work well. But anyhow, Italian really like macrobiotic, right? Yeah, I am happy to be here. And thank you, Kun Pon Dev, that I'm really, really happy to be here today. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hello. I am Subhash Rathman Govi. I am owner of my health. Good one. I am owner of my business. So I am in the business of uh, manufacturing cosmetic and healthcare products, which I am capable to do products ingredients also. And part of that, I am doing some trading and. Uh, for the last about three years back, I came across to get close with Kunpante. So I start to convert it myself to be vegan. And I love my vegan life. This is uh, I'm proud to be vegan. Next. Next. Yes. This is Vandana Kobi. My name is Ananya and in short, I'm a retired teacher and I've been uh, I'm a vegetarian since birth, but I became vegan I think, uh, for four years back. And I'm also gluten free and I'm enjoying the food here tonight. Thank you. Hello, I'm Adi, some bad to vegan since birth. Hi, I am Anjali and running Cat of Hua, if you might have heard, and uh, it's a vegan meal and just turned me vegetarian. I have no choice. <laughs> Total wellness and counseling. So 
Uh, I am vegetarian for over 15 years. I'm not from birth. I was vegetarian because I read the scriptures and I understood. So uh, I'm not vegan yet. I'm vegetarian. No onion, garlic as well. But I take some milk, but very little. And considering that I've come in this field of social wellness, and in my studies, I am learning a lot about the the world needs to really give up meat and eggs at least immediately. It's very very bad. For them. So I'm sure we all agree with that. Thank you. And thank you so much for inviting me. It's my first time here. Okay. Same table. Thanks. I'm Ekta. I'm vegetarian since birth. I love cooking and happy to be here. <laughs> Hello everybody, Swadika. I am Mukesh. She is my wife. <laughs> and uh, I am vegetarian since birth and my whole family also. My parents, my grandparents, were everything. Since decades we are vegetarian. Uh, as because we are, we, my parents used to follow Jainism. So that's why. And uh, I have a diamond business. I had a diamond business, I should say, before, before COVID. <laughs> now I don't know how long I will stay <laughs> And I'm very much thankful to Mr. Sir Paul to be a, make me a member of uh, today of your family, I should say. And I'm I'm proud to be the member of your family now. Thank you very much. Nice meeting everyone. Hello, Savadika. Uh, myself, Ruchit. I am the owner of Kruabun Restaurant. It's a vegetarian and vegan Thai restaurant at Sea Long. And recently, we have uh, come up with the restaurant and trying to promote vegetarian and vegan Thai food in Thailand as well as everywhere, wherever possible for us. Thank you. My name is Queen uh, Atalapon. I used to be the Kumpartev student 34 years old when I studied at Quebec University in marketing. And he taught me very good, inspiring me to Work, life, and, and balance since 40, uh, 34 years old. And from uh, what I learned from him, make me today because I use the knowledge uh, in marketing uh, to help myself and uh, continue my career. Today, uh, I make a big decision because I start to work with the uh, Paul as the real estate agent and today is the first day that uh, I joined this club and uh, I thank you Kunpan to invite me. I am new to all these things but I think it's a good way and it's the future food that we, we should aim to that one and today uh, Kunpan invite me and together my wife so she will talk after me. Yeah. Hello, hi everyone. My name is Meg. Um, I'm working for him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Thank you, Kumpal, for inviting me to the first ever be, uh, vegan. First vegan meal. First vegan meal. And it makes me go tiny. Go tiny. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good evening, my name is Gaurav. I represent Saras and Soriso brands of restaurant where we serve vegetarian and vegan food. Uh, vegetarian since childhood. Thank you. Surendu Vekam. For my family name, you would know that I am uh, from the vegetarian family. When I grew up, I got the liberty, uh, liberty to choose. So I became a naughty boy. Okay. <laughs> Outside, but at home it's still very strict. At home it's still very strict. Hopefully one day I will become 100% vegetarian oh, very and, good. and vegan. Oh. Oh. Uh, I think now we look left and right, we feel very happy because now we know each other. We are no longer seated among strangers. So, what we have eaten earlier was just a starter. So now we are ready for the main meal, main course. Okay, please help yourself with the main course. 
Then when you come back, we'll continue with the program, please. So the white is about the about the the now, let me continue with the program. Okay, may I have your attention, please, Dr. Gamal? Yes, may I have your attention, please? Yes. Uh, for those who finish their food, can you please turn your chairs <coughs> facing this side? Now, we were founded on October 2nd, 1991. And I chosen October 2nd to launch the movement that was Mahatma Gandhi's birthday. And this year, tomorrow, Mahatma Gandhi was born 150 years ago. This year is exactly 150 birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. And uh, the, the next session is, I like to invite the floor for those who like to give tribute to Mahatma Gandhi, whatever you like to say. One minute, two minutes, three minutes about Mahatma Gandhi, please. You can walk up to the podium right here. Who like to start? Tribute to Mahatma Gandhi. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. oh, uh, okay, please. Applause, please. Hello. Actually, um, some of you might have seen my invite in the uh, group, WhatsApp group. I was, I was invited for this meeting on Earth, which is this time based on Mahatma, of the, on Gandhian principles. So, yeah, on Gandhian principles. So, I will be actually talking, addressing on non violence. And non-violence, like the stories uh, Paul told us, were all about violence on the physical level. <laughs> louder. louder? I thought I'm very loud. <laughs> on the violence is not just on the physical level. I will be addressing violence inside. Before uh, the table behind there, silent, please, so that we can hear. Yeah, please. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> so violence is also in the mind. <coughs> I was just like, it's spicy. So chili, when we have, uh, I'm saying chili, when we have anger or irritation, is also violence. And that's why Gandhi was such a person that he would starve and sit and do these non-violent movements. And it was also because he didn't want to attack anyone. So he was really a peace lover. And that's why we call him Bapu. Sometimes we think that we have to fight and we have to argue and we have, but actually there's always a peaceful way around things. So do watch online on Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Thailand time, uh, www.healingourearth. And I like the Healing Our Earth because we can heal the earth through non-violence. Eating vegetarian is the first step is not to non-violence. The next step is anger and irritation, which we take out on our children, on our friends. And so the, I will be addressing the non-violence from that perspective. Thank you. Very good. In Gurbani, we say, Man jite jute. So winning the mind, we win the world and we win ourselves. Oh. oh. What time? Time to mention some time. 8.30 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, p.m. Indian time. No, Bangkok time. Bangkok time. 7 p.m. Indian time, 8.30 Bangkok Sunday. time. Sunday night. They're on the channel www.healingourearth.com I'll next. put it again. Yeah, very good. Next. Yeah, you can you can pause again. It yeah. Yeah, next. It's this non-violent. Yeah. Hello, I will talk about uh, Mahatma Kanti in a term of being humble. Once I read about Mahatma Gandhi, uh, uh, he will go to to the Arun, 
every night to spin the pattern every night. Uh, why? Because he said that in the daytime he go into public and everybody um, pay respect to him and uh, treat him like the God. This may make him forget that he is a normal person. So to control his uh, feeling, he after getting the respect, high respect from the people at the public, he would go to spin the pattern at night, every night, to keep uh, him in, the, in in control, his mind in control. This is a uh, impressed me a lot and I tell everybody about this story to be humble. Even the great people of the world like this um, have a way to be humble. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's, it's also a very, a very good way to focus your mind, to concentrate. Next, one or two more. Yes, okay. Uh, I only remember one sentence which Mahatma Gandhi said, which appealed to me, I think it appeals to everybody, there is enough for everybody in this world, for everybody's need, but not enough for somebody's greed. So every is enough for everybody's need, but not enough for somebody's greed. This world has enough for everybody's need. That's it. Thank you. Mahatma Gandhi, he did not only freed India from the clutches of British, he has put a focus on other things also, like cleanliness. Cleanliness from the bidden, from the surrounding, from the country. So likewise, with the peace, we can win each and every one. He has been against the Britishers to free India from them with the policy of peace. Keeping peace in mind is an art. I really appreciate uh, Amarjit Kaur. If you follow her, they teach us how to concentrate your mind to bring peace in the within. If you have a peace in, within yourself, you can create peace in the street, in the family, in the village, in the city, in the country. So it is much more appreciated to focus on the peace and implement it to yourself first. If we do this, we can build up happier and healthier nations with the less of them. I think we learn a lot from Mahatma Gandhi. One thing especially I like to share is about Mahatma Gandhi and award. Very often we run for award. You know, we want we want award to be given to us. We crave for award. We run for award. Mahatma Gandhi in his lifetime, he was nominated for Nobel Prize. Nominated, not awarded, nominated for Nobel Prize five times. But he was never awarded. <clears throat> he was nominated for Nobel Prize five times. Every time his name went up to the list and then they selected someone else. Five times this happened in his life. Now what I learned from this is, eventually once a person is gone, we do not remember and we do not care for award. How many award Mr. A got? How many award Mr. B got? How many award Mr. C got? He is now more remembered globally. 
then hundred other thousands of others with lots of awards. So eventually, once we are gone, we are remembered for our contribution to the world. We are remembered for what we have done to the world, not for the award. Nobody cares award. Twenty years, fifty years, hundred years later, nobody care about award. So this is what I have learned from him, and I'm following this. I'm following this. Whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm doing in my life, I don't care for award. Eventually, is 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 our contribution. Each of our contribution. And till now, whatever industry I'm in, whatever business I'm in, whatever course I'm in, I I I do not look for any award. It's it's actually is is not important for me. That's what I learned from Mahatma Gandhi. Now, like to move to the next session. I like to open the floor to veganism idea. Uh, whatever idea you like to share, a few minutes right up here on veganism. Uh, we like to hear some idea from you. For example, for example, uh, veganism certification. Now, this is one idea that we should come up with veganism certification. Uh, for example, there is an idea uh, for mock meat in Thai language. We use kai che, bla che, mu che. Should we continue with all these kai che, bla che, mu che? No, there is also an idea. And how would we how would we educate the public on <coughs> veganism? How would we pull in feed for more people into veganism? For example, an idea is. Promote the idea of on, on the day you are born, once one day a week. Let's say you are born on Monday, you are born on Friday. On that particular day, at least you become vegan for one day each week. This is one idea. No, not everyone. Not everyone will jump into veganism right away. So let them give them some exposure. Or ninety-five uh, percent of uh, people in Thailand are Buddhist. Uh, uh, initiate an idea of on a Buddhist day. There are four, four Buddhist day every month. On the Buddhist day, you should become vegan. No, any any one of you have you know any idea, any veganism idea that you have? I like to open the floor. We like to hear from you. Please, whatever ideas. I I I shared some. I shared some of my ideas. Anyone would like to share? Yes, good care. Yes. I think Thailand being a Buddhist country, and Lord Buddha always mentioned about non violence, protecting the animals, no cruelty, but unfortunately, we still see uh, some. Weeks ago, I went to a temple and I saw. Uh, I should not be criticizing, but I just want to bring the fact forward that in the offering was the pig's head as the offering with other foods. I think we, if we could be bring more awareness to uh, on violence and start with our temples, uh, bring awareness to the monks. Uh, where, where they may eat whatever they want, but at least start with the with the token of avoiding animal sacrifice for the sake of religion or for the sake of merit making. That's one thing I'd like to emphasize. Thank you. Yeah, very good. I think the idea. When we talk about religion, we talk about kindness. So why 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 are we offering life in religion? I think I think good idea, but. How to go about? How to come up with the campaign? How to educate the public? That's the whole world we need to, to, to get it. Kumbhapi, please next. Oh, where is your wife? <coughs> okay, yeah, okay. So this is just uh, an idea of marketing. How to get new mm. people to join vegan? I happen to know some friend had done this in the US. Okay. Everyone who went into the restaurant. They will spare some extra money to the restaurant owner, you know, get some corporate and say that 
who may ever want to try it's like you know free food just to test the weekend mm -hmm. the extra tip that you give in to the store for that part of expense you know uh, it can be it depend on the level if you're doing on a lower restaurant <clears throat> you can help the poor get a free food but it's from the extra tip that we give everyone can afford it's just a marketing idea just you know for request people to join and taste it's not about the money I, everyone can afford but <clears throat> you know it's like it's from the organization offer them that hey come and join us sometimes we are not there but we are open the option for them that this restaurant offer the first time testing vegetarian to everyone you know and it's from our group of people who can spare money secondly mr paul has mentioned about you know uh, the name of the fake meat it two sides of the view for some people who don't never try vegetarian you need to give them a guidance idea it's just like in like uh, uh, just for welcoming them in okay people who are already in and strong i think this wording doesn't hurt, doesn't affect them at all once they test they'll stay with it like oh you know it's just just like meat why do i worry about eating meat anymore so in my point of view i think the name still should be there for outsiders coming that's the purpose i mean people who are strictly religious and everything they will not like to hear that kind of verdict but that's another level you know when people get into vegan vegetarian they can proceed that way but you know i'm, I'm come from the marketing point of view so to gain a new <clears throat> member so this is my idea okay, very thank good. you i think this is a very informative brainstorming <clears throat> session and yes i very much agree these terms is a marketing idea to get the, the to get the non vegetarian to get the meat eater to get them to make them happy uh, i'm still eating kai no kai <laughs> jay i'm still eating mu okay to make them happy yeah it's a marketing idea you have a point yes next yes yes kun ruchi yes <laughs> uh we were just discussing about mahatma gandhi and there are many things which we can relate to everything what we are here for mahatma gandhi freed india on the basis of ahimsa which is non violence here we are here to promote vegetarian and vegan food which is non violence against animals so the same thing we have started over here like we came, when we came up with the restaurant being a jain by religion we don't eat any non vegetarian and we don't even eat we are not allowed to eat potatoes and onions which is underground again the same principle of non violence so when we started our restaurant we came up with a new idea that we are located at silom right next to the indian temple where so many thai people they walk around so we we came up with an initiative like any thai a normal thai who is eating non vegetarian 365 days a year if he wants to be a part of our program wherein if he agrees to have a meal every day with us which is 30 days or 25 days a month if he eats like consecutive 15 or 20 days vegetarian five days or seven days we give them free meals now the idea behind this was that you think what you eat and once you develop that taste you know that it's not necessary to have non vegetarian food we have many better options in vegetarian as well as vegan so and we really got fantastic reviews from many people that it is everything the same it's just the ingredients are different and i think this is how we are trying to promote vegetarian and vegan food and specifically in thai where people have this idea that thai food is mostly non vegetarian very good <laughs> this is another marketing idea from uh, from the operator from our operator to yes yes okay Uh, i'm sharing my personal uh, feelings and uh, maybe i am not satisfied everyone i feel that uh, having a vegetarian you should promote to be a vegan to stay away from all these chemicals and drugs what we have to be take after having non veg with medicines and everything which protects our body also uh, uh, what you say the proper word i don't have right now which protect our body from the chemicals which has been been we don't know right now like in uh, covid many medicines are coming out oh this is good this is good this is good if we are vegan we don't need even any medicine also as well we we stay healthy 
people who are having non veg i don't nobody knows what the animal has been eaten or and what they have eaten and we should promote our vegan group like this that eat what farmers grow so it's a natural growth from the plant and trees we our body and our tongue is not made for digest meat it's for only plants and vegetables and fruits secondly i mr prana just uh, has given a good idea and our society also do this uh, animals we collect the funds for the particular purpose we call in our uh, word jeev daya it's a uh, we free the animals from the slaughterhouse or fish market and we send them to the fish we put them again in the river and animals we give to used, used to give in the palace back like cows and goats we give in the palace back over there they been taken good care over there so this is also a good idea to feed the animal to give them a new life for going to die before we bought it and we give them new life to this thank you very much thank you Yes, I think it's a it's a right time now to promote veganism because of COVID. Yes, yes, yes. that's the right I mean. time. Now, when we when we when you know, I I I talk a lot everywhere in so many forum. I I talk almost every day. Then the question coming back to me: Oh, India is a big vegetarian country and a big COVID country. Now my answer is my answer is. Uh, yes, veganism is a must. Veganism is a must, but India is a big dairy consumer. So India is not a big vegan country. India is a big vegetarian country, but not vegan. Number one, India consume a lot of dairy. Number one, number two, among the lower class people, they don't eat any fruits. You know, you need to eat fruits every day because the fighting mechanism against uh, any virus is vitamin C. So. Uh, only fruits give you abundant vitamin C. You eat uh, other dish, any other vegan dish, you get little vitamin C. You eat meat, you don't get vitamin C at all. So to get maximum vitamin C, you need to eat fruits every day. And among the lower class people, they don't eat fruits. Because fruits in India is too expensive, that's number one. Number two, among the rich people, you know, I have done, done my own analysis. Among the rich people, they stay indoor. In house air condition, from house into the car air condition to any place hall air condition, they never get exposure to sunlight. They lack vitamin D. So the best mechanism, the best fight against virus is vitamin C from fruits, vitamin D from sunlight. So a problem in India is the lower class lack vitamin C, the upper class lack vitamin D. This is my answer. And of course, they are big dairy consumer. Dairy, dairy, eggs, meat, all these is a is a home for the virus. Is a food for the virus. It it create the body to be acid. Acid body is a home for virus. Virus cannot grow in alkaline body. And to make your body alkaline, you need more fruits. You need more fresh vegetable. Yes, cancer cell. Virus, bacteria, all the bad stuff grow in acid body. And body, your body becomes acid with meat, eggs and dairy. You, we need to turn our body into alkaline state. A virus cannot grow, cancer cell cannot grow, bacteria cannot grow. This is my answer. Yes, others? Yes, yes. <coughs> Please keep in mind, no doctor heals anyone in the history. No doctor heals anyone in the history. Only your immune system heals you. And our body never gets sick. There are three T's to make us sick. First T is the timing. When the timing of sleeping, eating and relaxation is not proper, you may be sick up to a certain extent. Second is toxicity. We are being bombarded by the free radicals, electromagnetic radiations, smoke particles, dust, dust particles. Apart from this, when we eat meat or drink milk, that is also polluted. Those who drink milk, keep in mind 
it's the biggest enemy for the heart by drinking milk you can get 249 diseases our intestine is so long it takes around 72 hours to digest a non vegetable food you will be glad to know that in bangkok most of the sick people they can live without oxygen but they cannot live without meat they has to have meat but i'm glad with the grace of almighty when they came to my clinic i have a system you have to hold in the hand just for 59 second it will diagnose your whole body 44 health conditions and according to the report i give an expert advice that how to change your therapeutic lifestyle to make life better and 85 families in bangkok of nabi sick families whenever they invite me at their home that day they all eat vegetarian food they eat vegetarian food my daughter she was getting married and the in laws they even have meat in breakfast also and they asked us to provide chicken and i was newly vice president for the viva it was shame on me and i just this discussed with my wife that what to do she said it is very like a crucial matter at this moment if we talk to them and if they got an white it is not good so i was thinking what to do we have already placed order 700 chickens to come for the guest but my heart was not happy so what i did i approached to the uh, my son in law's father i asked him that uh, we are going to give blessings to our children so that they should have a happy and healthy life they should grow in the future do you think that after slaughtering 700 animals and they will be receiving the good wishes from anyone of them people will eat and go and when they are under the influence of liquor and eating chicken they will forget to give even blessings it clicked into his mind and he said okay the person who gets angry no problem who gets annoyed no problem so you can arrange all the best and it was so lucky that day it was so heavy rain all the, the stalls were outside they have to bring inside the hall so if it is a chicken over there the people may be feeling that as if they are walking in that uh, uh, where the uh, dead animals are brought but everybody enjoyed the food they appreciate wow what a nice food so like we need to educate the people when people comes to me i tell them we are meant to eat god food god food is what the food which is grown in the earth but sometimes being a doctor i get many questions like one man came to me he asked me doctor how you can say that everybody should get vegetarian so my wife cannot be vegetarian i said why so he said she do not eat meat but she eat my brain every day <laughs> <laughs> so what to do there but then i told him it is organic let it let it let it uh, go let her eat no problem it is not going to harm her or to you so likewise we have to educate the people so this is a this is the best tool that like you when you are uh, bringing uh, the guest at your home you can same way like mr can uh, all the speakers are told we offer them the uh, little taste of that vegetarian food so that they get convinced second is the fear if you tell them by eating meat you can develop so many diseases people from the fear they can come why the corona has developed in india i fully agree with mr paul because people are not aware of it what kind of chemicals are sprayed on the vegetables or what kind of food is feed it to the animals so this was the second point that first is timing tension and third is the tension or we call it a process of negative force if you are having a 
process of negative thoughts in the mind, it will also imbalance your pH level. Our bodies are alkaline by design, by function they are acidic. So whatever negative it consumes in your body, it becomes acidic. Love yourself first, then you can love everyone. Uh, there are so many people, those who get up in the morning and they tell their wife, I love you, or wife tell the husband, I love you. But before that, I suggest everybody when get up in the morning, hug himself or herself and say, I love you, I love you, I love you. When you say like this, you are not telling to your body, you are telling to your soul. And soul is the property of God. Then God will start sending the positive energy to you. Like you love your wife, her smile is your life. When we say, I love to ourself, then it becomes the duty of Almighty to guide us. Then like law of attraction always works. The similar like-minded people will meet us and they will take us to the right path. So which is better? Take one step forward. Each one, teach one. Thank you. All is great. For all of your information, Dr. Kamal's clinic, he doesn't have any medicine. He doesn't prescribe any medicine. He prescribes vegan food. A dose of vegan talk before a patient leaves from his clinic. <laughs> yes. Yes. Anil Sirimana. Yes. From <laughs> Embassy, first secretary of Embassy of Sri Lanka. Uh, yes. Good evening. Thank you. Actually, when me, me first, I was the secretary. Now I promoted councillor after oh, three years. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, our yeah. friendship goes Com back to three years. Yes, I congratulate so far that I am very happy to join Beaver Group. Yes, right. That uh, owner Rula invited me. I am coming here as a student. I am every day learning something for the life here. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. But, for uh, this is my that I passed third year officially that I have finished I will finish my term in December. So I am doubtful I will join it as an officer <laughs> in this occasion. In any case I like to congratulate. <laughs> so far that I should thank you for inviting them to the event. Also Actually, that in uh, this group, I made a uh, lot of friends. Actually, now, if I say the second generation, friends of friends. Of friends. <laughs> I have many friends of friends. Uh, that's a good event. Actually, that, uh, uh, Mr. Bonner was saying that uh, on my 50th birthday of uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, actually, when we talk, uh, that I got one idea, but uh, what I heard, Actually, when uh, India uh, British school, that uh, someone has asked that how do you develop India like a British? I think his answer was uh, if, if I going to develop India like English, it means seven words. I think it goes into. <laughs> but I got that idea that uh, life must be you know sustainable. So that I think that we were a group also in 29 years. I think my Suggestion, <laughs> you you are that in a very matured uh, association. That the next step, I think you have to promote how to that the sustainable economy. That uh, without having meat and other things, as I'm a commercial officer, I know how much economy depends on this meat, mm. fish, poultry. That even yesterday I went to one location with the uh, uh, minister of Thailand. That in the exhibition they promoted. Uh, uh, cricket, cricket, small, 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 small uh, you know, insect as a protein source. They produce a tablet, powder, that many products, cricket. You know, that in this way, how to, you know, develop that uh, the harmony, that the sympathy and like that. So that uh, next <laughs> challenge for your <laughs> organization, <laughs> how to develop this sustainability with, uh, you know, that all we are in a very consuming world. That actually in this COVID situation, it is a good lesson to us. You know that the old people that develop their economies 
as a bubble, not in Daisy. That reality you want you you growth through food and house, you know. But our economy and our perception goes very high. So that's a economy when unless it goes down down to earth. So it's a one sustainable like you. Other thing, uh, what I'm thinking that uh, that even Jiva that you know in uh, that uh, modern technology that uh, DNA uh, sorry uh, genetic technology that uh, all that uh, vegetarian uh, seeds and other things modified by uh, genetically. Sometimes they use uh, that the uh, animals genetics to develop something. So I think all, all of you agree that in your younger age that your foods are very tasty and now now they are similar foods but taste is not good. At the meantime I am thinking of that, that uh, what is the medicinal value of this food? That the same color, same uh, appearance, it may be beautiful. But uh, anyone has uh, check up their medicinal value that even in, that gives me that around 5,000 years that uh, you know the diagrams and uh, develop. But it is challenging. Thank you very much for inviting and <laughs> have a nice evening. Good luck for you. Once I was invited to his house. In, uh, that was Shiva Shiva Tower. Shiva Tower in 2019, and he hosted me. Being be, being a non-vegetarian, he hosted me with a nice, nice vegetarian vegan. In fact, nice vegan lunch, and that's how our friendship started three four years ago. Any last? Uh, yes. Okay. Could you? Uh, Dr. Kamal did, uh, I used to check with uh, Dr. Kamal's uh, uh, system, quantum, but very accurate. Yes, I, 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 I see. Uh, just very, very easy. Uh, I cannot remember, but but very easy. Very what, what, easy. What yes, and uh, they will check everything you need to know about the, the inside, internal body. They will tell everything and what what we what we need to fix uh, is already good enough. Yes, I recommend to check with Dr. Kamalji. Um, Dr. Kamalji, where is your location in, in Bangkok? No, it is in Sukhumar Soil 22, near a Boston condo. The same one? That one? No, not the same one. It is uh, near Wyoming. I will send you the location. Okay, okay. Please, take a minute. Please share your location in the Viva. Yeah, I will. Yes, yes. And uh, so we will know in advance that uh, that what we should uh, protect ourselves. And Dr. Kamal is just like the fortune teller about our home. <laughs> Can you give the lottery number? Yes, I changed with uh, Dr. Kumaji quite, uh, I think, four, five years ago yes. at Viva. And then I, I know everything about it, what in myself that is. Uh, so I protect and uh, avoid everything. At, I'm fine now. Very fine. Highly recommend. Uh, I, I want to talk about uh, uh, vegan food in terms of alkali food. Um, I just joined the Kulaki Bandit University. Uh, it's an anti aging. Anti aging. Uh, about, uh, the, oh, the doctor, the Top doctor and hygiene in Thailand recommend to eat alkali food. Alkali food. This is a uh, doctor covered with already talked about already. And this one, uh, it will make us uh, not to get the age. Anything. 
Uh, but in, in the, the big since they are not vegan, they, they still uh, consider fish oil as alkaline food. Alkaline food. Yeah. But this this in this case, I already uh, educate them. Educate, yeah, yeah, educate them that uh, this one is in terms of vegan and vegan uh, education. We don't, we don't think so. And you can use the flexi. Flexi, yes, 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 and taxis and uh, and and the fish oil have the same smell, very bad smell, the really? same. Yeah. It means how much? Very bad. So yeah, it's omega three, the same, just the same, exactly. Um, and uh, one more thing that I would like to share is that uh, the anti-aging. Uh, Say that the food that uh, is is about is about twenty uh, percent that make us uh, alkaline, alkaline. Okay? So we we can put make our our, our blood alkaline, and then uh, some others are our uh, tempo, emotion, and um, and uh, mindset, the mindset that. Wrong mindset. Uh, in in this case, the people who get angry easily or moody, they will make their blood turn acidic also. But not as strong as the food. But have have it means one hand. Uh, it's, 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 it it makes us uh, the the blood turn acidic also. But we should know that what makes us get angry easily. Uh, where is the root? Uh, is from the food. Because the food um, that the slaughter animals, they get fear and uh, they get angry, crazy, and, and inflammation of the whole body and lose control like we, we like to eat the COVID have not attack us with fear. And what about the, the animals waiting to slaughter their fear? This is uh and they get angry. And so that's why we we consume the animal product or the dairy product. And we consume the angry energy. So it makes our habit, our mood, our emotion like the animal before them die or during the slaughter for the uh, procedure. That means that if we eat alkaline food, we can control our anger, our mood automatically. Because the plant um, energy is calm, not violence. If you go to into the slaughterhouse, um, they use violence. Because they are um, the slaughterhouse, they, uh, they, 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 they don't allow the animal to, to escape, right? So they have fear, fear and anger and get crazy. So if this is uh, going back to anti-aging. If we change the diet, we can control our blood directly and can, can control our, our mood and our uh, Emotion in dialectic from the food, and uh, we will be not too fast in aging. This is what I learned. Yeah. And the second is uh, many people ask me about how to go vegan. The first step: how to go vegan. I may, I may recommend not, not similar to other people. I recommend to to stop eating egg right now. First, first thing to stop eating egg right now. Yes, right now, and um, if possible, then uh, dairy product, uh, milk, 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 uh, dairy product number two. Number two. First, yeah. stop egg. Number yeah. two, dairy products. All, all together. All together. together. They say 
uh, before they ask me that uh, this question is they oh, I did, can I uh, stop eating uh, animal in my birthday uh, or what that I say you you know you in your body body the, your organ your internal organ they don't know about what not what the what born of you here what Christmas they know nothing they have nothing to do with that day why is this, this drama outside they know only sunlight and sunset that's all so stop drama about this uh go back to uh, talk to your internal uh, you stop you okay if you really cannot eat, stop eating right now or today you go on eating you, you eat that you like but only stop the egg and milk egg first milk together if, okay if you cannot to, uh, milk and egg i recommend egg first and they ask me why you are very different from other people who will, will stop uh, the red meat but remain eggs and uh, yeah, yeah. right i say um my the the, um, the answer is that because they are baby egg uh, baby the milk they are all the babies uh, egg, 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 baby is, baby, baby, is, baby, is baby, baby food. food yeah. Yeah. So, and the power of the baby is very strong, like the bomb. They go up like this. They will against the gravity and go up like this, and very powerful. And if so, if we consume that powerful um, power. We get that powerful, okay, but it's in negative way because we are not older. It will be good, powerful, uh, growing for all the owner. We are not that owner. It will give negative way, right? And uh, and they still didn't understand. I say, okay, if you see a man on the street fighting with the man, man with man, yes, man and man. What do you think? Mm, you don't like it, right? But you don't, you, you may not make and do something. You may just look, okay, here. But if you see a man uh, beating a small baby, what do you do? I don't think you can just look. You must do something because uh, we are abusing and torturing the baby. This is the same thing. Same, uh, baby. So, uh, this is uh, why I, I, I recommend to stop egg immediately today, not reduce. And in scientific terms, egg is a uh, cons is in pen when ga um when ga baby yeah man go when ga when ga a person that uh, concentrate to be the egg, but it will when it go in a time like we were an egg in our mothers yeah. womb the same. We all also came from egg. Yeah, right. And uh, so when it. So it's concentrate of the uh, molecule of the, of the body. And that's mean cholesterol. When it's go inside our body, it will expand in our artery. Expand. So uh, it will block our artery. And our artery, the rate is uh, 100,000. 100,000. 100,000 in our body. It may talk at any in any part we don't know. Uh, and and the, the blood cannot go, cannot flow. This is the cause of an immense stroke. 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 Paralysis. Paralysis. I'm a flip. cholesterol man. In this case, uh, 
อันนี้เป็น education ค่ะเราต้องรู้แล้วก็เรื่องนมนะคะ milk เป็น mucus not the common system I will always remember your lecture in the past we will very very mucus mucus so uh, the blood the blood you you turn mucus yeah uh, mucus when when condensed milk it cannot move it just there in the in the artery and if we we eat egg to make our artery inside is full of the the thing cholesterol thing the thing the cholesterol that our our body cannot use no way for the for us to walk and the blood is the uh, uh, and, and the blood will walk they are uh, drinking milk make blood turn milk is it's just stay there so uh, it's danger into to blue heart yeah um, dirty artery and the blood turn uh, turn mucus very dangerous so this this is a scientific reason that I recommend to stop eating egg and milk immediately no compromise uh, it's, it's better to eat uh, uh, all fish like the old man fish and uh, old lady fish like me uh, less dangerous okay. less dangerous By, by the way, for those who may not walk could eat well, I call Kunjim uh, a vegan family. Her whole family is a vegan. Started with her and then a daughter, a son. Now you have a grandson. It's a born vegan. Your grandson is a born vegan. So it's a vegan family, the whole family. Uh, and yes, I very much agree. I endorse Kunjim on eggs and dairy. I think of all the animal-based food, uh, you look at two aspects. The first aspect, you look at the law of karma. You are stopping life to be born. You are stealing a baby's food. You don't look at that way. It will be, it will be a, the biggest curse on you. You are stopping a life to be born. In Thai, we say, if you are eating eggs, in Thai, we say, you are eating dekti do tham hai. Eggs is dekti do tham hai. It's actually, you're stopping the life to be born and then you eat that, that, that baby that's not being born. And you are uh, consuming dairy, you are actually stealing somebody's food, a baby's food. So look at the law of karma, it's, it's, it, we will have more effect than eating fish and pork and chicken and, and, and meat. I believe so, 100%. Number two, you look at the health aspect. Dairy and eggs is concentrated protein. You know, we the, the, uh, we are so much afraid of cholesterol, but in fact, the animal-based food, the most dangerous is the animal protein, more dangerous than cholesterol. A fact most people do not know. Number one, uh, it's concentrated protein. It's too much. Number two is the wrong type of protein. Human, we need plant protein, not animal protein. Including cows, they eat plant protein. Including horse, they eat plant protein. Including buffalo, elephant, giraffe, they all eat plant protein. How come we are eating animal protein? So we, our human body, we are not compatible with animal protein. We cannot digest animal protein. Animal protein become toxic, become cancer, give, uh, create all sorts of health problems in the body. And milk and, and eggs, these are the two biggest concentration of protein. More protein than meat, than fish, than chicken, than hog. And and uh, there, there, was, there is a one Indian doctor by the name of Nan, Dr. Nan Kishore Sharma who have treated 8,000 cancer patients and his conclusion was dairy product is the cause of cancer. Now this fact is now very well known among the Thai doctors now. If, if a woman get a breast cancer uh, a doctor who is well educated will will tell you to stop at least three things right away: meat, eggs, and dairy. Because it, these these meats, eggs, and dairy is the food for the cancer cell. And these three types of food: meat, all kind of animal meat, flesh, dairy, and eggs. For women, you will get breast cancer. For men, you will get prostate cancer. So it's a concentrated food. 
protein means growth, uh, a food, a nutrient that promote growth, but because it's a wrong type of protein, it promote growth in the wrong way. That's why cancer we call tumor. Cancer means tumor. Tumor means growth in the wrong way. We need growth in the right way. Growth in the right way comes from plant protein, not animal protein. Okay. Now, last, last, uh, before the final, before the final, I like you to share. Keep it very short this time. I like you to share what you like about today's food. What is your favorite among today's food? The starter and the main course, please. What do you like about today? About today food starter and uh, number one. Just, just pick up one or two. Very difficult to say. Yeah, very difficult. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I like everything, but whatever, whatever. Good can please. Good can keep it very short this time. Or you can stand up from there. Just right yeah. from there. Yeah. There is a, a cube shape of uh, a, a speed. No, no, sorry. A brick shape of sweet there. Oh, okay. But, yeah. a, okay. Uh, but, uh, okay. Yeah, but we call burfi in Indian oh, language. Okay. But I don't know what it's made of, but it's very but, tasty. Uh, and it's Okay, it's very tasty. Oh, okay. And number one, and then for states, so, uh, uh, I, I, uh, we have to appreciate because normally the Indian desserts is full of milk. So today, for your information, everything is hundred percent vegan. Okay. So once again, a big round of applause for all of you. Okay, next. Or you can stand up right at your own place. I was going to say yeah. the best thing is Gaurav's hospitality. Oh, yeah, sure. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yes. Of course. Yes. Sure. Okay. Others, please. Spaghetti. Yeah. Oh, spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti. Oh. I think you have Italian chef yeah. with you. Okay. Is he still around? Uh, yeah. Can, 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 we, can we see the Italian chef, please? <laughs> Pizza. Oh, pizza. Oh, okay. yeah. Proper pizza. Okay. Pizza. Yeah. I like pizza. Okay. Pizza. Okay. Okay. You see, different, different uh, opinion. What was that one in the class in the yeah. desert? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 not in the startup. Oh, that's a new one. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Everything. And I'm waiting for cake. 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 Okay, And I got one thing that excellent for me. Right. I got the application Happy Cow. Oh, Happy uh, Cow. Uh, so right. this is the first time that I think is will be uh, useful for me. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Very very good. Good. Yeah. 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 So maybe have that. Yes. <laughs> one or two more. Oh, One or two more. What do you like about today's food? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yeah. Please, please, yeah. You, yeah. Your name, please. My name is Matteo. 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 Okay, good. Can you speak Italian? Yeah, I'm poco. I'm poco. Italian. Yes, I'm poco. Okay. <laughs> so many of us like everybody knows like the yeah. so many of the Italian so that's why we invited you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So why don't you talk? Yes. Very good. Yes. So Gopi Manchurian. Okay. Gopi Manchurian. Gopi Manchurian is a mixed Indian Chinese. Yes. One or two more. What do you like about the ice cream? Who do you like? Uh, uh, this is your first time trying vegan food. What do you like about today's food? So, 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 this one. Uh, 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 my, my phone. So, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, Kun Suwat. Kun Suwat. What do you like about today's food? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like uh, okay. Not uh, a cream. Okay. It's a uh, coconut. Coconut. Oh, okay. Okay. This is. 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 This is.
first I thought it would be a cream from a soy milk. Okay. But when I tested it, okay. I found that that is a cream. So, sir, vegan, can drink wine or not? Yes. 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 Yeah, veganism means nothing from animal, no exploitation of animal. If there is no exploitation, it's, it's your so, choice. So, so, why did you put wine in the tiramisu? <laughs> <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> this can be in, uh, in your regular menu also. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah can put wine. Yeah, can put wine. Yeah, something. Good for heart. Good for heart. Okay, now, Kun, kun Jin. We, we've got cakes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cake yeah. Cake ready? Okay. Oh. Now we move into the final session, the 29th anniversary. So we'll enjoy vegan cakes, but we, before we enjoy, uh, we need uh, to sing. Sing? To sing. We need to yeah. sing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, with the cake. Maybe we can, can, can use, use this table. Yeah, yeah. Can use this table. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. We'll just move here. <laughs> Can we invite some of us? Maybe not all. Some of us. Kun Anil, Ken, please. Kun Dr. Henry, Dr. Kamal, please. Kun Sudan, please. Maybe not all of us can be here, but some of us can come. Kun Gaurav, please. But but everyone, please help me sing. Yes. We all can stand up, help to sing, please. All stand up, help to sing. Okay, we have a good photo. 